What's up YouTube? Georgia Silver Hunter back and today we're getting back into the half dollars. We've got our weekly two uh, $500 boxes of half dollars we picked up from a local Fifth Third Bank. And uh, if you've been following the channel, we've been struggling to find the silver lately. In our last video, we found a little bit of gold. Uh, we found some proofs. We found NIFCs. We found a lot of things. We just didn't find any silver. And I'm hoping these two boxes turn it around for us. So uh, that's enough yapping. Let's get in to these coins. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just get through five rolls in this box just to keep the length of this video down. I did open these boxes at the bank like I normally do, uh, simply because I've been shorted entire rolls before. Uh, so the tellers do like it when I open them there, just to be sure before I take them home. And uh, I'm struggling to get these out here, just a nice 1996. Um, and uh, the one thing I noticed is we're very heavy in the 21s, 22s, and 23s on the enders. So this may end up being a short hunt, but I hope not. Uh, we're hoping to break the silver skunk and find a little bit of that shiny stuff in here. Unfortunately, we're finding a lot of super shiny new coins. And I'll just show you really quickly. We'll pick one in the back. That is a 2023 Denver, which has been just overproduced and released in mass to the public. Um, so we're not hanging on to those. Most coin roll hunters don't. Uh, along the way, we will be looking for a number of uh, mint varieties and errors. And uh, short of going through them all here on camera, I do have a document in the description down below this video where you can download that and see all the things that I hunt for. That looked like it wanted to be, wanted to be silver. It's just a 79. And then we got a lot of other new coins. Got excited there briefly. All right, let's get into roll number three. And we've actually been on a variety skunk for a very long time. A couple, three, four years ago when I started my channel, I would find a variety in every couple, three or four boxes. Now I am lucky to find a variety in about every 25 or 30 boxes. And there are some of you out there that say that hunting for them is a waste of time. And uh, I get it. That's, that's maybe your opinion. I'm not going to argue with you. But if you can find a really nice one in really good condition, they can be worth lots of money. Um, but unfortunately, most of the ones I find end up being kind of in that 15 to about $50 range. So I, I lied. I'm getting in here to roll number six. And I, I will stop here. I just wasn't keeping count. Another 2023 Denver. So this box, unfortunately, I think is going to be a lot like these first six. But I will be sure to bring you in if we do find anything of interest. And we'll talk all about it. Well, I was just about to bring you in and say that the first half of the box was a bunch of nothing, which in fact it was. It was a lot of 21s and 23s. But I just busted into roll number 26, got the paper pulled back most of the way, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have ourselves our first silver of this box, unless that's a faker, uh, which I talked about in my last video. We do get those from time to time. They're usually 71s or 74s that just, uh, they're kind of discolored, but that's got to be 40% silver. So let's check it out together. Nineteen sixty-eight Denver. So we have broken the silver skunk. We've got one on this box, and believe it or not, we haven't seen anything else. Not an NIFC, nothing. I will take this all day. We'll put it up here on the board. First silver. Hopefully, the rest of the box produces a little bit more. All right. Well, we're getting into roll number. What would this be? Thirty-two, I believe. And this hunt just picked up. You can see we've got this paper just barely open here. And we've got at least two hiding in there. I'm going to guess both are 40%. That looks like it wants to be 90, but it looks just off enough that I think it will be a 40%er. Let's see. All right, so we got ourselves a 1966. Again, there's that beautiful uh, silvery edge. With silver as high as it is right now, these are worth like $4.50 a piece, give or take. And that's before any kind of premium. So we'll put him up there. And I think we've got one more. Let's check the edges here. See anything else hiding over there? No. Got one more right here. Got ourselves a 1967. So we're working on the set. We got a 66, 67, 
68. So we just need that 65 and 69. The 70 is going to be really tough to come across because it is, uh, I think they only produce those like in SMS sets or mint sets. Um, so that's a not intended for circulation coin. So that 1970 is tough to find. Uh, and of course, a 64 would be wonderful because that would be a 90% hunk of silver. Uh, but I'm happy finding 40s these days. So three on this box. We've got a lot of rolls to go. And as usual, I will be going back through these to look for those mint errors and varieties. But right now, I'm just on the silver hunt. So the silver hunt continues, and we just got into roll number 37 here. I still have all those other ones to go through, but roll 37 just pulled the paper back, and look what we have here. We've got another beautiful solid, well, solid gray, mostly gray edge. I think we got another 40 percenter hiding there. Let's take a look. And we've got another 1966. This one's actually in really good shape. We lost a little bit of the mint luster, but we got a little bit left there still. That's a beautiful coin. That puts us at four silvers on the box. Well, we have reached the end of the box. I was hopeful the last 10 or 15 rolls, the last 10 rolls, I guess, might produce something, but alas, they did not. But that's okay, because we managed to come away with four 40% silver pieces, two 66s, a 67, and a 68 Denver. I did check out uh, coin apps. I was right today with the spot price. Uh, I don't actually just got rid of it. It's like 30, 31, 32, somewhere in there. A 40% silver half dollar today is worth $4.49 in silver alone. Now, if these were a little nicer, or perhaps it errors or varieties on them, they could be worth more due to their coin collectability. But uh, the silver value alone makes these coins worth finding. So we're going to set these aside and I'm going to go ahead and jump into box number two. Well, here we are with box number two, and it, I got it from the same bank at the same time, and we have the same kind of makeup for enders. Lots of like 21s and 22 and 23 enders. So knowing we just found four 40% half dollars, let's hope we can find a little bit of silver here in box number two. And just in case it's front loaded here, let's go ahead and open like we did in the last box, a couple five or six here on camera openings. Now a lot of people wonder why coin roll hunters don't film opening every single roll and it's because we look at a lot of rolls of coins and actually trying to film and keep it straight and not mess up. It's uh, it's actually just easier to get the roll kind of partially open to determine if you have something that's worth looking at than it is to film like an hour, an hour and a half or a two hour coin roll hunt or even longer for things like pennies and then try to edit that down to something manageable. So that's why most coin roll hunters do it. That's why I do it in particular. So I can hunt a lot faster when I'm not worried about the camera. So this is roll number five and so far it is looking a lot like box number one. Let's go ahead and get into the next row here. Maybe a couple just to see this is roll number six. Yeah, there's all those 21s, 22s, 23s for sure. Yeah, that's a 21. The last box was mostly 23s, but there were a few 21s in there. It's a 1980, nice big thick edge on that guy. All right, let's just go ahead and get to roll number 10. Bicentennial, probably, there's a 21. That's roll number eight. Nineteen ninety. Oh, there's one more kind of down here. 1980, and here comes roll number 10. All right, well, none of the shiny silvery stuff in this box so far, like the last one. We'll go off camera and hopefully we'll find some silver along the way. So we are halfway through box number two, and it's been a little bit of a bummer because we had all that silver in box number one. Box number two so far, we've just found a Ring of Death 2003 Philadelphia. 
and a 2005 Denver that's actually in pretty decent shape for being circulated. So both not intended for circulation coins. I'll throw the mintage of both of those up on the screen. But uh, not what we're looking for. We're hoping we get a little bit of silver in these last 25 rolls. But as you can see, we got a lot of brand new looking enders. So I'm hoping they're not full rolls. Guess we won't know till we get into them. Well, that's going to wrap us up for box number two. You'll see I'm still missing a roll here because we did have three little finds throughout that box. I covered a couple of them just a minute ago. 2003 Philly, 2004, I think that was a Denver. Let's look again. It was both uh, not the greatest ones in the world. And this 2011 Philly came near the very end of the box, and it too has seen better days. So three NIFCs there in box number two. That is getting to be more and more typical in a box of half dollars. That's not to say that you can't still find silver and proofs and other things because if you just skip to the end, box number one was a little bit exciting. We did have a couple of 1966s, a 67 and a 68 Denver for four 40% half dollars. And again, I'll throw the coin apps value up on the screen so you guys can have a view at what this is amounted to in silver. And with that, that's going to bring us to the end of our video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop on down below, leave me a comment and click that like button. Every comment, every like, every interaction with this video just helps it get viewed more and more. It puts it up higher in the search engine. And I'd really appreciate you guys just taking a second to go down there and do one of those two things or both. That'd be great. And if you're new to the channel and you like coin roll hunts, I do a whole lot of them. So make sure you do click on that subscribe button and then click that little bell and select all so you get notified each and every time I release a new video. Special shout out to all my channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel each and every month. It means a lot. Thank you so much. And uh, we're coming off a big volleyball weekend for my daughter. And uh, she ended up winning the whole tournament or her team ended up winning the whole tournament, which was fantastic. But uh, I've got a couple of boxes of coins that we're going to get into here uh, late in the day. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of content out for you guys next week. So uh, with that, I hope you're all doing well. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.